the true art of conversation is slipping through our fingers in a world brimming with texts, emails, and posts. Have you ever felt disconnected when you ask a question and the response is a world away from what you discussed? That's a sign of a missing link in communication, active listening. Active listening is the bedrock of effective communication. It's not just about hearing words. It's about fully engaging with the speaker, understanding their message, and responding thoughtfully. This skill is crucial for meaningful personal and professional relationships, making the speaker feel valued and respected. We've all experienced the frustration of speaking to someone who seems to be on a different wavelength. This epidemic of ineffective communication is often due to distractions, preoccupied minds, or the rush to reply without truly listening. These barriers prevent us from connecting and understanding each other. The consequences of neglecting active listening are significant. Misunderstandings escalate into conflicts, creating walls between individuals. This can lead to feeling undervalued in personal relationships, and in business, it can cause inefficiency and frustration. In the professional world, the stakes are high. Employers and employees suffer when active listening is absent, leading to misinterpretations and strained relationships. Clear communication is essential for success, especially in client interactions and job specifications. The old saying and my favorite quote, we have two ears and one mouth so we can listen twice as much as we speak, is relevant today. In an age of constant noise, the ability to listen attentively is a rare and valuable skill that enriches our understanding and relationships. Embracing active listening means tuning out distractions, focusing on the speaker, and resisting the urge to interrupt. It's about engaging with the conversation, asking questions, and providing feedback that demonstrates genuine interest. Active listening is more than a technique. It's a transformative power that deepens connections and enhances interactions. By listening more and speaking less, we can mitigate misunderstandings and navigate human relationships with empathy and effectiveness. Let's commit to being better listeners, for we communicate most profoundly in the act of listening. Have you experienced communicating with someone who isn't actively listening to what you're saying? How do you handle it, and what have you done in those circumstances?